Okay, in this tutorial we're going to be looking at how to compute an index using uh, the PSPP software. And so I've got the GSS data set open already in PSPP. <coughs> Excuse me. I've already created three variables which I'm going to be adding together into an index. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to hit transform compute and I'm going to name the new variable C O N G O V confidence in government. And what confidence in government is going to be, I'm going to make this wider so I can read the uh, labels better on the left, is going to be a combination of those three variables that I created on a different occasion. And uh, those should be at the bottom. Yeah, they're recoded. Uh, I recoded these because originally they're coded in such a way that a higher value meant less confidence. So the recoded variables. Uh, now the, the higher value means more confidence. So if somebody said three, that means they have a lot of confidence in the executive branch of the government and so forth. So I'm going to add these together. The way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to highlight one and move it over. I'm going to hit the space bar plus and space bar again. And then I'm going to add the variable for Supreme Court. And then I'm going to hit the space bar plus space bar and the one for Congress. So what I'm doing is uh, this new variable, CONGOV, is actually going to be an index. And the index is going to be a combination of three variables. And uh, so if somebody is extremely confident in the executive branch, the Supreme Court, and Congress, then they should have scored three on all of those. So when you add those together, the highest value will be a nine. If somebody had very little confidence in all three of those, then this would be a 1 plus a 1 plus a 1. So the, the value for this new index will be 3. 3 it will be interpreted as very little, 9 as a great deal. So that's all there is to it. I'm going to click OK. And the output window shows the, this is the syntax. Um, we don't actually have to type this. Incidentally, you can if you learn the syntax language. You can do all the steps we just did uh, using computer language, but if a lot of people don't like that option, uh, just as an aside. So there, if we go back to the data view, uh, the variable view, we'll see at the bottom the new variable we, cr we created, CONGOV, and I'm going to call that Confidence in Government Index. And again, that was a combination of the three other variables that were created previously. And I want to just see what that looks like. So I'm going to do Analyze Descriptive Statistics Frequencies. And then I'm going to choose that variable and, and push it over here. Uh, I want to see the histogram because it is a continuous variable. And I want percentages. Uh, we could do a pie chart. Uh, again, that's probably not the best choice. But we'll just see if, uh, if we can do that. Frequency table should be fine. And I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. I'm going to go back to the output window, make that big. And there you see 3 is the lowest value. This would be 10% of the sample has very little confidence in government, uh, as measured by this new index we created, Confidence in Government, which added together the three uh, separate branches of government and the questions related to those on the survey. And alternatively, we see that those the percentage that had a great deal of confidence on all three of those 2.27%. So in other words, not a lot of people have a great deal of confidence in our government. Now this is from 2006, mind you. Uh, let me refresh this a little bit by minimizing and maximizing that. So the histogram shows that this is fairly normally distributed. That means most people kind of fall in the middle. Uh, when you compare the, the higher end with the lower end, you see more people have less confidence in the government than have a great deal. And the pie chart shows essentially the same thing. So that's it. I, if I want to save this, by the way, I can just export the file. I'm going to choose PDF from the menu. And I'm going to call this uh, CONGOVFREAK, for frequency distribution dot PDF. And you have to type the dot PDF, otherwise it won't know where to save it. And I'm going to browse for folders. Uh, this automatically wants to put it in my 
my documents folder actually I'm going to click on the desktop from the pane here and click save and I should have a PDF now that shows me uh, the output we just created now just to find it there it is CONGOV frequency distribution I'm going to double click that and I should now have my output here yep there's the frequency table these are the descriptive statistics below that uh, and we should see the charts on the next page right? and again this kind of runs together it's not much we can do about that I wouldn't worry about it uh, and the pie chart is a little more clear here actually uh, because it it shows clearly what the values are and how many people fall into each value all right and that's it I hope you enjoyed learning about uh, creating an index using PSPP Thank you.